This guy is on some interesting stuff. Earlier, they implanted someone's memory, four people, with the same memory. And I just asked my dad. He had the memory, too, of being in the hot air balloon. And because he knows the way of the winds, he could pilot it alone, he said. It's like, well, this guy's going to be run through a rat maze. And they're going to show how 3D video game is good for your hippocampus and 3D uh, spatial memory stuff. They're going to do some brain scans. But also like from Universe Sandbox, all the planets lined up from biggest to small in the solar system is a cannon. He's on there. He's got some simulations. Check this out. All important hippocampus. Here we go. So this first test is a standard memory test that we do. It's called an object recognition memory test. This test began by showing me a series of random objects. I did my best to commit every one of them to memory. What was that? Was that the goose? Was that the golden goose? It's a normal whitish white goose. Okay, finished. All right. What we're going to do now, though, is we're going to test your memory for those objects. Okay. And this is actually where it starts to tap into the hippocampus that we know is so important for things like spatial memory. This time, I had to view another series of objects and identify any that were identical to the ones I'd seen previously. The catch? Some of the items were very similar to the earlier ones, but not exactly the same. This tested my... When I crawled over my fence doing some clearing work in the yard ley line, I found a melted block of VHS t tapes and actually the way that it melted and dripped some of the tapes looked like plants it had like lichen shit on it and what I first saw was an owl and I went over there and I got this big block of melted tapes and I probably shouldn't have brought it into the house because of the weird smell and it wasn't soon after that that I had what I believed to be the COVID memory for details and very slight changes. Okay, next up, a virtual version of a water maze normally used by rodents. The idea is that you are trying to locate a hidden platform in a pool of water. Oh, oh man. man, I'm so glad I'm not a lab rat. This task really put my spatial memory to the test. I had to find the same invisible underwater platform over and over again, using only the shapes of the mountains as my guide, but at least I didn't have to get wet. Hey, that was more difficult than I expected. These are the sorts of tasks that we've been able to do because we can put them on a computer. And I was just playing the video game, riding the motorcycle, and I jumped a hill, landed it on the side, and it briefly showed me underwater. We're going to revisit them after you've done the video games, but we also have a really great opportunity here now to be able to try to take it out of just doing it on the computer and actually get it into the real world. Have you guys done this before? No. We don't get to do this kind of thing. Well, welcome to the minefield. <laughs> awesome. So this nice. is it. It's huge. This is what we brought you here for, to have a real this world, world is a bastard. test of memory. You're going to be a lab rat. He tries to maze. trick us. So this is a big first for us. It's a big tries first for really me. memory research. Tries to so trick you. How do you think that'll affect what you guys have already seen? Which Put is your left foot down on the clutch and pull the fucking stick back and to the left. You're going to go in this. We're going to go into first gear. Are you ready? Yeah, I, I, I said I'm ready. Come on, stay focused. Line. If you look back there, they just keep going in line, in line. This is the most fake ass real simulator I've ever been in. I love it. I call it home. Sometimes I get mad at it and I throw things. Sometimes I just change the colors. That guy that's running in that maze had me running in the maze for him because I nearly died. On my maze. I got in the river. They phone called me. 
and I called the number back and they played some tone and my arm immediately went dead and then later I nearly drowned in the river I went down there and I couldn't even use my arms to swim and I was just going down and and back I was going down I was going back and that guy's sitting there in his little table and he's fucking trying to step on a thing underwater you found the platform he's like wow this is difficult I was like yeah it's more difficult when you're fucking in the water and you're gonna drown I didn't even get wet most of his minefield research is shit that's already happened to me and probably you too if you were to open up and remember all these weird programs that they have going on and the different weird things in your life they testing you fool Check the wire, you be in brain scan. And whether I took the most optimal route each time. And time. Third item is the cat. Go. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. The cat is Ravenclaw's hidden item. item. Sir, I'm gonna need you, you now. So, get it up to speed. You're getting it up to speed, right? All right, now, put your fucking foot down and pop it up. Put it up and to the right. And that puts you in second gear. Do it. Right here. Do it while we're picking up speed. Maybe on the other side of this wall. No? Ah, oh, shit. Oh, okay. okay, maybe it's down here. Oh, wait. That's... No? That's the central cube. It was down some sort of a long corridor like this in this Four area. Oh, It takes your beans oh, over. Oh, oh. Until this point, With things had gone pretty well. But now... They only sting you to fear. Don't have the fear. Alright, look, now they're with their brother. Nature gives you two snails. All right, I got two snails. You get two snails. You've done a good job, buddy. You get the fuck away and let nature do its thing. Going freaking Bees don't crazy. like metal. <laughs> Too much. <coughs> they don't like weird frequencies. I like the bees. They don't like assholes. They really do. I took their honey away and put it over there. Not their honey. They don't like it own. when you don't vent off their ley line, though. What do you call it? Why they're having sweet sugar. I don't know what you call it. The honey that you want. They're sweet base material. Dr. Pepper juice squeezins. And I've got, I've got the girl with the dog wearing the... I go through his entire body and I matter. You see that lady over there between the cones? I want you to power slide over there. And don't knock the lady over because she's a handler. You can tell by her voice. FYI, she got that cornbread.